Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I was just laughing as I was pushing your cord because Jessie's got this really beautiful background that makes her eyes look amazing. Um, and I'm like, this is my this is my office, which is really amazing. So this is my big whiteboard behind me that keeps everything organized. It's currently clean because I'm working on organizing and scheduling things out right now. And that's my yoga space. That right there is um, my filming space where I do my other YouTube videos. And that's my Christmas tree still up in the middle of February. So um, just a little insight to my life. Before I'm Shantae, by the way, one of the co-founders of Dreamcatcher Dynasty, and this is day three of your training. And <coughs> before I jump straight into that, um, I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience with you guys this morning because I'm just feeling so much gratitude for this amazing thing um, that we have here. And um, just like can't believe what my world looks like because of it. So I just wanted to share a little bit. So I woke up this morning and Ren, stop, um, dog. Woke up this morning and things were hard from the very get-go. I was really tired. My little boy started waking up in the middle of the night. Um, my dog had to go into surgery. I wasn't sure how we were going to get him to surgery. My son's going to the babysitter for the first time, like all week, all this stuff. And I was able, my husband came home, took the baby. I was able to get Thena and go and drop her off the vet and I got done. And it was so much, I just felt so much stress. It's this additional $275 bill that we had not at all planned for. Um, uh, just having her go into surgery, she's 10 years old. Um, so emotionally it was really hard. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like afterwards. If she's going to have a drain and she's got a um, like swollen thing on her knee. I don't know if it's going to have a drain in it. If she's going to have stitches. If she's going to have a cone. I don't know what that's going to look like. Um... And just had like a really, really hard morning. And I was able to drop, Nick came and handled Roe, and I was able to drop Thina off at the vet, and it took way longer than I thought, and it was like a half an hour drive just to get there. Dropped Thina off at the vet, took way longer than I thought. And then I was out in the car and was crying just because I was like realizing that she's super old. <laughs> and I hadn't eaten any food yet and like all of this stuff. And I just came home and took a lot of time making myself like a clean healthy food in the kitchen and um, took a bunch of like my supplements and I listened to personal development which is one of your four vital behaviors is personal development if you're not doing that yet I recommend um, the compound effect and I actually gave it to you it's for free in the back files another one that's really great is the slight edge and you can listen to the slight edge for free on YouTube so we'll put that link in um, the files as well but uh, I was able to take like all this time and space um, and get in a really good space before I did this before I came to sit down to work with you guys and it just made me so grateful if you know any of my story I used to be I was a big corporate hustler and was like working really hard and building this like really awesome corporate career and um, when I found coaching and I was just thinking about like how grateful I am that instead of having to call in late to work and then get in trouble because it took longer than I thought, you know, and have that affect like all of these other things going on in work instead of having to rush from dropping Thena off back to work or even waking up this morning and having to get like dressed and ready for work versus wearing like, I mean, I'm in spaceship leggings, yo. What's up? Um, I was able to just like, get up really be me take care of me focus on me and now i'm sitting down to work and i'm in this like really awesome space versus this feeling like carrying over my whole day and just being this major stress and even the money thing like i'm like okay so i sat down and i reevaluated my goals for the next couple weeks in terms of challenge packs and success club points and signing coaches up to my goals a little bit which is going to up my income and I get to just decide that not like oh shit how am I going to make this extra money like I'm just going to work more so this is the most amazing thing ever guys um and so much of my job was that was like that making myself happy process and then that's what I'm going to share on my social media today by adding value so this is just the most incredible thing and I want you to think not of how this feels right now, which we're on day three. Um, you're probably right now, this is where I started to feel overwhelmed. Um, so you're probably feeling overwhelmed. You're probably feeling like stressed out. Like, what did I just get myself into? This is at least where I at. Like, what did I just get myself into? Can I actually do this like in this space? 
And I want you to just take a deep breath and think down the road, think three years down the road, what could my life look like if I stuck with this, if I made this all it could be. And I want you to just kind of hook in there and also take a lot of relief in knowing that it's totally normal to feel overwhelmed and stressed and like you have no idea what's going on. Not only did you just start a business, jump, you know, wherever you're at in your health and fitness journey, jump really into a whole new version of health and fitness. Um, but you're assimilating into an entire culture. Beachbody and coaching and the like lifestyle that involves that is an entire culture culture. It's a whole new language. PD, personal development, SC, success club. Like you're learning a whole new language. You're having to learn about products and about all of, you know, the back end business stuff. You're learning how to talk and communicate with people more. You're probably putting yourself out there with people more. Like it's this whole big thing. And what gets you through to the end is just take little tiny individual steps every single day to get there. So just follow along with the training and that's what this training does is it gives you little individual steps that makes it really bite, biteable sizes. I don't know what that means. Um, and it will get you to where you need to be and if you just keep showing up and keep doing the work, it will get you there. Work with your coach on determining what exactly your goals are based on your big picture goals and just do the work. Okay? And it will work out. So day three, your assignments today. Um, day two was about getting in, doing your welcome email. So going through and doing your tour of the back office. That's in the files, the full welcome email. So you can click through and do all of that. And finding and getting started in your corporate coach training. So yesterday you were going through the PDFs and training for the get started tab. If you don't know where any of this stuff is, and if this is confusing you, it's because there's a whole tour of the back office in that welcome email. That's your first to-do list and it'll show you exactly where you find this training. So yesterday you did the getting started and today you want to do the corporate coach um, section. It's broken into different ranks. You want to do the coach section today. And your assignment today after doing all of that, um, you also should be working through invite school right now um, and starting to talk to people and starting to connect with people. But one of the things in connecting with people is they can't come to you for help. They can't even know that you are a space for help unless you tell them. So your assignment today is to out yourself as a coach. Like, hey, what's up, y'all? I'm a coach. Um, and there's a way to do that where you don't have to feel like a salesman, where you don't have to feel like suddenly you're shoving things down people's throat, where you don't have to feel like suddenly you're like all beach body, you're this different person or any of that. There's a way you can do it that just very clearly opens up like why you're here, what your vision is, and why you made this choice and that you're there for other people to join you. So um, there are examples of that. The main formula is really starting with your why, what you're feeling right now, why, why you decided to make this decision, that you made this decision. So like I would say I was feeling, um, I in my pregnancy, I got hit really hard with a bout of postpartum depression. I was just not feeling like myself. I felt really alone and really disconnected. As a new mom, my health was majorly declining and I just needed to be able to get a grasp and really get a grounding underneath me. And that's why I came to coaching because it allows me the space to make connections and have adult time and do it on my own time so it fits into my busy life and really gives me a purpose. And I get to, in helping myself, help other people to achieve their health and fitness goals. And I'm just really excited to be a part of this and know that every day is just going to keep getting better as I continue to grow. I'm hosting, co-hosting a self-love challenge group with my coach starting on February 27th and I've been given three spots. You want to create um, urgency and create limited. I've been given three spots to invite um, people in to do it with me. If you're looking to get a handle on your health and fitness or if you're struggling with anxiety or depression or you just need to connect with more people, please reach out to me or comment down below because I would love to help. I hope you jump in with me. Ta-da! That's the format. So there are going to be down in the back files also, there's going to be examples 
um, like format scripts for you to write those um, outing yourself posts. And it's probably going to be one of the longest posts you've ever done on Facebook. Things to note, you want to space them far enough. People are reading on a phone, so they need space between it so they can actually read it. And just be you. And know that if you're getting vulnerable and if you're saying things and if it makes you uncomfortable to be like, I don't want to tell people I've been feeling sad or I don't want to tell people I'm uncomfortable in my body. Every feeling you've ever had, a million, multi-millions of everybody else has felt exactly the same way. I'm sorry, but you're not special. You're not special in feeling bad about yourself. You're not special in being sad. You're not special in feeling overwhelmed or stressed. Everybody feels that way. So you're not outing yourself in some like, oh my God, secret. Everybody feels that way. So there are going to be scripts for you to follow. And the big thing about that is you don't copy and paste. Write them in your own words. Write them in your own story. Your story has value regardless of your own judgment on it because there are a million other people out there just like you waiting for you to tell their story so they have permission to tell theirs. Um, so... Yeah, out yourself as a coach. Use the scripts. Use your own words. Um, one of the things you can do is post your outpost here in the group, and we can workshop it with you. So um, Jesse and I can respond. The other coaches in the training can also respond. Really just encourage and motivate each other. We haven't connected a lot on here with each other, but I want you to do that. This is now your team. This is now your foundational support system. These are the people who are going to be here when you're like, I'm struggling to follow through with my goals. This is the people. So connect jump in, get out, and do this thing. Recap on assignments, coach training, the coach version of the corporate training, catching up on your welcome email if you haven't done that, personal development, which you should already start doing. We'll share some options. And then uh, outing yourself as a coach and using those forms and scripts to do that. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. And let's do this.